ever wanted to pet a kangaroo, snorkel with thousands of exotic fish in the Great Barrier Reef, tour the world-famous Sydney Opera House? Well, I did all this and so much more this summer as a student ambassador on a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Australia. With people to people, I got to see the world, make new friends, and create memories that will last a lifetime. My Australian adventure was an experience that I will never forget. Every aspect of my Australian adventure was phenomenal, but my favorite day was when I learned firsthand what being a student ambassador was all about, creating lifelong bonds with new friends from around the world, all while learning along the way. I got to go to an Australian school and make a connection with kids my age. That morning, my homestay family drove my friend Eva and I to school. Did you know Australians drive on the left side of the road? There are also some unique road signs that we do not have in America. When we got to school, we met up with the rest of our delegation, as well as some Australian kids our age. We all got paired up with a buddy or two for the day. My buddies were two girls named Natalie and Caitlin. They gave me a tour of their school, and it was huge! Next, I went to their music class with them. I met some of their other friends, and we got to talk about our lives. It turns out that even though we live on opposite sides of the world, we have a lot in common. We like the same subjects in school, listen to the same music, and have some of the same hobbies. It showed me that people are people, no matter where they're from. In music class, I also got to play saxophone, which was pretty cool. I also listened to the other students sing, play guitar, and play piano. When class was over, we exchanged contact information so we could stay in touch, then headed to a school-wide assembly. The principal welcomed the delegation, then asked if any of the student ambassadors would like to come up and tell the school a little bit about their lives. My awesome leader Tammy picked a few delegates, including me, and we told everyone about ourselves and our country. It was one of my favorite parts of the entire trip. Once the assembly had concluded, we learned how to play some Australian sports. We played rugby, cricket, and Aussie rules football. Aussie rules football was by far my favorite. After we were done, we had a delicious lunch with our new friends, and sadly, it was time to go. We said our goodbyes, and then the American students all boarded a coach to a lookout point to view Coffs Harbor, the stunning town we were staying in. You could see the mountains, the ocean, and the village all from one point. It was beautiful. Once we had taken in all the sights, my homestay family picked Eve and I back up and we headed back to their house. We chatted and had dinner, then we went to play Kegel with a few of our friends. Kegel is nine pin bowling with smaller bowling balls. It was a great way to end a great day. I went to bed with a smile on my face, knowing this was a day I'd remember for the rest of my life. allowed me to go on a journey most people only dream about. I had such a great time and learned about the world firsthand. Rather than just reading from a textbook about all the wonders Australia has to offer, I got to dive headfirst into it all. From the rainforest up in Cannes to the Opera House down in Sydney, I had the experience of a lifetime. My Australian adventure was the best 20 days of my life, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah. You better run, you better take cover